Yeah, yeah, what up? It's Alec Monopoly. We're over here in my studio in Puerto Rico. I hope I'm saying that right, but yeah, we're here. Um, gonna work on a piece today. I'm doing a, a, a series that's based off of Hermes boxes. So I have this box over here. This is kind of where I got the inspiration from. The Hermes box. This one I just finished now, so you can kind of see. It looks like the box, but it's really a canvas, so it's kind of cool. So a lot of the time, I, uh, you know, in this instance, I'm penciling it in first, but like say I'm doing a graffiti wall, I'll do the outline in white spray paint and then layer it on. But this is kind of a way to lay it out. This center line kind of gives you the feel of which way he's looking. If he's looking straight at you, it goes straight down the middle. If he's looking that way, it waves that way. It's kind of like making his, his head a sphere. My favorite part, the spray paint. So we're gonna turn on the fan over here. We got this big fan because I've been breathing in the spray paint fumes for so many years. It really gives me a headache and it's terrible for you. So better safe than sorry. All right, so right now I'm laying down all the colors with the spray paint, which is kind of my favorite part. For years I was painting with just acrylic paint, but you know, it takes layers and layers and layers, and you'll never really get as bright and opaque colors as you do with the spray paint. So, how do you like this one? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you say everyone is good, and you love everyone. See, it's hard to tell with her, because she says everyone is good, so I never know which one is bad, which one's good. You're so lucky that I like all of your paintings. They're all my favorite. <laughs> okay. Why don't you let me do a little? <laughs> okay, let's see. Now you gotta hold it closer. Wow. Alexa Picasso. <laughs> Alexa Monopoly. <laughs> Closer, closer. Ooh, this is fun. Now I know why you like doing this so much. We're gonna let it dry for a little bit and then we'll start with the black paint. When you do, when I work on these, I never use black spray paint. I always use black acrylic paint because um, Spray paint you can only get so thin and you can only control so much. So on the smaller pieces in the in the studio, I only use black acrylic paint. For me, it's kind of a release. I mean, um, sometimes, you know, say I'm doing a painting live in front of thousands of people on stage or you know, at some type of event, it is very stressful. That's not as fun. But when it's here in the studio and we're just relaxing, it's all good because there are no mistakes in art. Some people ask, oh, aren't you, uh, aren't you bored of painting Mr. Monopoly so many times? But every time I paint him, he's different, so it's a little bit different, so. If I get bored, then I try something else, but I enjoy painting him. But yeah, he does change and develop in every piece almost. I feel like I'm kind of like Bob Ross over here. <laughs> I used to love that show, Bob Ross. Monopoly Bob Ross over here. Like as I'm painting, you don't know who Bob Ross is? The guy with the Afro puff who paints on TV. He died the year I was born. Wait. He's still on TV, yeah. So we're gonna paint the little mountains with the treetops. He literally died the year I was born. You know what I have seen is this logo. Yeah. But I haven't seen his face. Oh my God. Okay, look, there's an article about you, about the thing you posted today. No way. Look, no, like, saying that you are, like, partner, designed by the artist Alec Monopoly, the San Tropez collection. No way. So it's like, they are saying, wait, I'm gonna screenshot this. So this company, for two years. Wait, literally, years. somebody, like, it's written. Someone just sent you that? 
It's written in black and white on that it's a partnership. How is it a partnership? Like they put literally, including those new Saint Tropez collection designed by the artist Alec Monopoly. Send you this. A fan. That's crazy. But I'm gonna send it to Avery. So there's a drama going on. Where send me the screenshot too. Yeah. Where this company, That's so this crazy. French bathing suit company, has been making bathing suits with my designs on them for the past two years. So I really haven't. I've I had the lawyers send them cease and desist. And they said, Crazy. you know, basically go f yourself, we're gonna keep doing this. So finally, I couldn't, I, I really didn't wanna post it on my Instagram because I didn't wanna give them any attention. Should we show it on Instagram? Yeah, I didn't okay, wanna yeah. give, I didn't wanna give them any more attention, but. Um, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So Alec posted this today. This is like the girl one that a lot of people in Europe, I saw them wearing it. And then this is a newer collection. But it's like, none of this is his, obviously, and so many of his fans were wearing it. It's crazy. And in the store, they're saying and this uh, guy it's a collaboration it. between, so they're selling it in the store saying, this is an Alec Monopoly collaboration. Yeah, look, what somebody sent me was that they found it in a post in French on a news site that it says that they're partners, but obviously that's not true. <laughs> so my pieces are, artistic renditions of Mr. Monopoly. Wait, so, and I have another one, hold on, I'll be right back. So this isn't, this is my interpretation of Mr. Monopoly, so I'm reimagining him. So I'm taking the character and changing positioning, context, and composition of Mr. Monopoly. There on the bathing suits, taking these artistic renditions that I created and using them directly on there from my paintings. It's not like they're taking them straight from the board game. And you don't only do monopoly, <laughs> you make artistic renditions <laughs> of my favorite. <laughs> this is just for me, this is not for sale. He will never make this again. This is a limited edition, <laughs> limited. one of one. <laughs> for me, not for sale, I just wanted to show you guys. You can take also Hello Kitty and you know put a money bag on it and <laughs> that's not like Monopoly, that's not Hello Kitty anymore. <laughs> I think you should make more of those pieces, but for me, not. For sale. <laughs> oh shit, I spelt it wrong. Emes? <laughs> I, like <laughs> 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 I feel like you always spell things wrong. I know. I'm actually dyslexic, so oh. I read backwards. So, this is my latest toy I dropped. It was crazy. We put this on the website, and so many people were trying to buy it that the website crashed. So. They sold out right away. So this was the, the my first toy release I had. So this character I call Manapi. So he's kind of like a, a cartoon version of myself. So this image, this piece, I do have trademark on and is my intellectual property. So this is like one of the pieces that I make uh, multiples of and I can do uh, merchandise and stuff, but I don't really do too much merchandise because I don't really want to you know, flood, dilute my brand out there. You, you like this one? I love it. See, she, I have she one? loves every single one. So it's kind of like so Richie Rich's eyes, Mr. Monopoly's body, and, and like Mr. Monopoly's top hat. So it's kind of like a, all of them put together to kind of symbolize myself. You know, he's holding a spray Whoever can. Whoever bought this got really lucky because we don't even have one. It was actually <laughs> a collaboration with uh, Beverly Hills Hotel. I had done like an event at the hotel and like this is the banana leaf. It's like famous for the Beverly Hills Hotel. Oh wait, actually, there's this other piece I want to show you guys. It's gonna be epic. It's gonna be probably one of my highest listed price pieces yet. So come with me, I'm gonna show you. So this piece, it's the first ever done. I've never seen someone create a large size canvas out of turntables. I've seen one turntable painted on, but I've never seen multiple for an installation. So basically, I'll kind of explain how I'm gonna do the piece. So I'm gonna line up, there's gonna be six, uh, it's gonna be nine of them. So basically, it, you can imagine, it'll be like this, over like that, to make one big canvas. Now 
Now this was more of a simple piece. Some pieces take me months and months to fi finish, but I'm not like one of those artists who like, someone starts painting something similar to my work. I don't like freak out, because I'm like, you know, that's cool. I'm inspiring people to make artwork. That's amazing. I'm teaching people to make artwork. But when it comes into like the making merchandise and like making a business out of it for profit, like that's kind of when I, I draw the line. Right okay, so the piece is done. Thank you for coming to my studio here in Puerto Rico. Am I saying it right? How am I saying it? Puerto Rico, <laughs> Puerto Rico. How do you say it? That's cute, that was cute. Okay. <laughs> we love it here. It's my chill zone. So uh, thank you for, for coming to my studio. You know, we finished this piece together, gave you a little inside tips. What? So what do I even say at the end of these? Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And there will be no new video stuff when? Every week, every? Yeah, we're doing this every, every two week weeks. Now. Yeah. Okay, so at, there'll be a video once a week. I don't know the day yet, but we'll figure that out. So yeah, welcome to Alameda Place YouTube channel. <laughs>